welcome back today in this lesson i am going to explain what are mt4 templates how we can make mt4 template what is the basic purpose of making an mt4 template how it is going to help us in better trading and how it is important in better trading what kind of important role it is playing in understanding mt4 and in trading also okay so let's start templates also play important role in better trading as per on our desired trading as we want so templates are important tool for that okay and for easy and better trading it is very important to have own templates for our own desired okay here we can adjust all types of indicators and everything so first of all i would like to explain what is a template basically a template is a predefined setting for charting okay here we have already predefined settings of charting and basically it is a set of chart window parameters that can be applied to other charts also for example if we make a template for on one chart so in future we can apply it on other charts also and the basic advantage of making a template is that it saves a lot of time okay it can save a lot of time and very important time for us also so that's the basic advantage of making a template okay so what we can store in a template we can store all important things like chart type chart color chart scale diagram oscl line open high close line we can make it shown or hidden also period separators our own custom and default indicators with our own desired modification settings okay these all important functions we can do in a template and it will also save a lot of time okay so once again i will repeat what is a template basically it is a predefined setting for charting and it saves a lot of time it is a set of chart window parameters that can be applied to other charts and we can store chart type color scale diagram oscl line period separators custom and default indicators with modification settings okay so now i will go to chart and i will explain how we can make a template how we can save it how we can adjust it how we can remove indicators how we can add indicators and everything with full detail okay okay guys all right so now this is the default outlook of our mt4 chart okay now we will create a template okay so first step for making a template what we need to do right click then we will go to properties here we can see two things common and colors first i will go to color step and here i will select colors first option is background background is this one okay second is four ground these lines are the four grounds okay here you can see background this one four ground are these lines where prices are written in white so first of all i will change background color i will make it white okay or then i will change four ground color and i will make it black okay light now next option is grid grid is basically these box here you can see these box these are basically grid lines okay i will keep it up as built in okay next thing is bar up okay and i will make it green this one bar down i will make it red bullish candle i will make it green and bearish candle i will make it 
red okay all right so line graph volumes these are not necessary okay so this is the first outlook and once i am going to click on this you can see it will be changed okay so now we have got a different chart comparatively better than the previous one okay okay all right so now you can see our chart has been changed first background was black and now it is white and foreground these lines were white now these are black okay so this is our own desired chart okay and what we want we can adjust it and you can also make that so now we will go to again properties right click simply properties and now we will go to this tab common so here we have different options first of all is this chart auto scroll what is the purpose of this option so let me explain you that what is its purpose for example i will click here okay and here you can see price is running so what i will do i will bring the price to back but when i will leave my mouse okay then it will automatically come back as it has came back again okay so this is the advantage of chart auto scroll but if you want to get past data so you need to click also here and then it will not come back okay and we can get a lot of past data so but if you want to get it back then you need to click so it will bring you back where the market is running right now it brings your chart back where the market price is currently running okay so this is the purpose of chart auto scroll next thing is that what is purpose of chart shift so once i am going to click here and then we will get chart shift so here you can see first our price was in this region so from this border our price has came up to this level okay so purpose of chart shift is that it gives a more clear picture of our chart okay and we can get it also from here for example i will click here then it will bring back the chart price up to here again okay so if i click again then it will bring the price up to this level which gives more clear picture of price action okay so here you can see a little arrow icon okay and you can move it also if you want to bring here and if you want to bring it to any of your desired place okay you can move this arrow icon also so this is the purpose of chart shift okay these two buttons icons are present here okay so now we will see other options we are using candlestick charts only so bar chart and line chart are not our concern okay and next other thing is that here you can see grid it is already checked so what i will do i will uncheck it okay and here you can see now we have got more clarity in our chart okay so so now you can see we have more clarity in our chart so i will recommend you to uncheck this grid option okay now next thing is this show period separators what is the purpose of this icon okay so i will click on here and then i will click here so here you can see small linings like as we have already in the grid icon also here we can see small linings what is the purpose of these lining so if we have h1 chart these lines means from this line up to this line this is one day h1 candles okay so if we are at one chart from this separation line up to this separation line we have one day data okay 
and from this separation line up to this separation line we have one day data and if we want to calculate our candles you can calculate your candles also so these are 24 candles okay in h1 it will be showing one day pass data similarly if we go on h4 so it will be giving us one week data remember on h1 one day data on h4 it will be giving us one week data and if we click here then it will be giving us one month data okay so this is also important because it tells us that what market is behaving today and how market has behaved yesterday okay so it separates so basically it is giving us more clear picture of our past five to six days data okay this is also important now next thing is that for example if i want to add any kind of custom or default indicators in my this template so what i will do i will click on this green icon and from here i will get indicators okay so for example i will select rsi okay then so i also got rsi on my chart now it is the time to save our desired template and what i will do i will click here in this template box and then i will click save template okay so you can see already default templates so for example here i will put my name danny rebel okay and then i will save okay so now our template is saved and for example if i go back there and here i can see danny rebel okay but I, we have already this template on this chart and now we will go to usdjpy so this is the default outlook of our chart and what i will do i will go to templates and i will click on danny rebel okay and now you can see I have got all these desired settings on my this chart also. So this is the basic advantage of making a template because it saves our important time. Okay, we can apply it on any of chart. Okay, so here we got this template also on this chart and we have already on this chart. Okay, now next question is that for example if we want to add some more indicators or any kind of other settings in our desired template what we need to do if we have any already template what we need to do for adding more indicators so for that for example if I want to add moving averages so I will click here and now I got moving average also and now how we can save our template this template so once again I will go there under templates I will click on save template and here you can see already now it is giving us new template name so once again I will click on my already existing Danny Rebel template okay and I will click on save so it says that do you want to replace it I will click on yes okay so on this chart I have moving average also inserted into my this template and this chart but on this chart i have not moving average so once again i will click here on templates pop and then i will click on danny rebel okay now you can see i also got moving averages line here also now next question is that if i want to remove any kind of indicators or any kind of settings from my chart what should i do for that you simply need to right click and indicators list okay and for example if i want to remove rsi i will click on this rsi box here i will highlight it and then i will click here delete okay so once i am gonna click here so here you can see now it is deleted and then i will click on close so we have got now this chart and in our template now we have not 
RSI. So now for example if I want to save my this new template with new settings what I will do I will click on this template box okay and then save template again. So here I am getting new option with template name I will simply go back to my already existing template and then I will click here Danny Rebel the name which I have already given okay. So I will click here save and then it gives me this option I will click yes okay. So on this I have got moving average and I have removed RSI but on this chart I have also RSI. So what I need to do I will go there okay and then I will apply Danny Rebel okay. So here you can see RSI is also removed. So this is how we can make our own desired template okay. It helps a lot in saving our important time and for easy and better trading it is very important to have your own desired template. I hope you like it. Okay so this was the explanation of how to make a template. Okay thank you so much.